What is the crack lads? Today we're going to be taking a look at the best left wingers for all budgets. So it doesn't matter if you've got 5,000 GP or 5 million GP, we're going to be taking a look at the best left wingers that you can buy and the ones that I recommend and the, the community are talking about and using. So cracking off with our budget option, we have got a frag of pain. So this guy again, with the event that was on a couple of days ago or last week or the week before the MLS challenge, there was a lot of players that kind of came up in discussion of like, whoa, do you see this guy's stats? He's got 81 acceleration. He's 4,900 GP. You can train him up to be like 90 acceleration and, you know, nearly 85, 86 speed and have a really, really cheap option. That's one of the fastest players in the game that also has really high dribbling stats and that has really good tight possession when you train it up. And he's also got some player skills like double touch. And for a player that has all those player skills and all that, you know, stuff, even though he's on the smaller side as a left winger, for 4,900 GP, you can't go wrong. Next up, we've got kind of the veteran of the group, Ryan Babel. So obviously he's had an illustrious career or an illustrious career, and he's got a lot of player skills to showcase. He's also got first time shot, dipping shot and super sub. So that obviously helps. And he is for a veteran squad if you're looking to have a really nice super sub to bring in off the bench. He's not the slowest either. 71 speed, 76 kick and power. He can play left or right wing. So you can double him up on either side, depending on if you need a substitution or a reserve player. I think he's really good. If you're looking to increase your squad's potential, you might want to steer clear of a 35-year-old, but I think if you do have a veteran squad for 8,000 GP with unwavering form, he's a huge asset to have. Next up, we've got Orsic, who is on A rating in this video, but he has got unwavering form as well, as far as I know, so his player rating will probably stay higher than most, especially as we see how the player updates go. And check out my form video if you want to understand that. This guy can play pretty much any position up front, apart from center forward so you can slot him in left mid right mid attack and mid uh left wing right wing he's you know he's such a utility man he's got 84 speed 82 acceleration if you are signing him i think you're looking for a veteran squad if you are signing him i would probably play him left wing and boost up his dribbling to get it up to 80s boost up his uh low pass as well to bring other players in Next up, we've got Munayin. So this guy is a personal favorite of mine, and selfishly, I'm putting him in here to give him the spotlight. This guy is just such a good player, right? He's got captaincy, he's got gamesmanship, he's got heel trick, true passing. He's a perfect link on the wing. Now, he can play either side of the pitch, left or right wing, left or right uh, mid, and he's just got a really, really nice play style to him that you can bring him on in the tail end of a season. I'm playing with him. I think I've been boosted up to like an 82, 83 overall. He's not the fastest. You're going to get speedsters that will outperform him. But in terms of sheer dribbling, this guy can make bits of defenders on the wings that are like way, way, way more expensive than him. Next up, we've got Diaz. So obviously Diaz has been lighting it up for Liverpool since he signed from. 24 years of age, fits in with a young squad, unwavering form. So his rating and his form arrows are going to be high, which is important as I keep mentioning. He's got a really good base of the main stats that you need for your winger. So he's got 78 dribbling, he's got 80 speed and 81 acceleration. It's not just about speed, lads. Like, I mean, you can boost up the speed and have like a really good speedster, but he might have really poor dribbling. You need to have dribbling, I would say. Dribbling needs to match your speed and your acceleration. So if you've got a player with 80 speed, he needs to have 80, 80 dribbling and 80 ball control. So you do need to be clever in how you choose the players that you're buying, especially on the wings. And again, we've got Dembele, right? 110,000 GP. 24 years of age, so he fits in with that young squad. He's a really good player as well. I think that this guy is one of the best players when you're playing against the AI, and he scored a lot of bangers against me. He's really good tricks. He's really good dribbling, and you don't really have to touch it. This is what I'm talking about. You're looking at that holy trinity of speed, acceleration, and dribbling for your winger. You know, there's no point your winger having high finishing stats or low pass or lofted pass. You don't need that. You just need him to be the kind of cutting edge on the wing, and you also need to play on the wing. So if you're not really a good like wing player if you play through the center you don't need to spend big money on gp guys like this or big gp on guys like this especially for vinicius jr so he's kind of an upgrade i would say on dembele there isn't much in the stats i think where it really comes into here is personal choice and obviously a bit of player id and a couple of animations and stuff like that they have very similar stats i would probably steer towards dembele unless you have got gp to burn i would probably steer towards dembele he's the perfect option to kind of test out you can always upgrade to vinicius jr later down the line 
But there we go again, 82 dribbling, 82 speed, 83 acceleration, and he's also got 70 finishing. So he's kind of the done deal that you're not really going to get a better player than him apart from the last guy on this list, which we will see now, and you've probably guessed by now, it is PSG's Neymar Jr. So 490,000 GP. You could pretty much buy every player on this list apart from, you know, and combined for Neymar. He's like 500,000 GP is a lot of money, half a milli for Neymar, but if you get Neymar, right, lads, you're not going to need to upgrade your wing position. He's got every stat that you could possibly want. 86 dribbling, 82 acceleration and speed. Bit disappointed his speed isn't a bit more, but I think you can train that up quite soon, quite quickly, um, especially if you have a veteran coach or a five-star coach, uh, which they'll be bringing into quite soon. But yeah, he is probably the de facto left winger. If I had to pick an all-rounder and just pick somebody that combines, you know, value for money, bang for your buck, I would probably pick Dembele, that you can train Dembele up to have 90s in the main stats, and he'll be an absolute beast for you. Um, but then obviously his form comes into it as well. So it's a choice between him and Vinicius Jr. I think if you're going to go for Neymar, you have to be sure that you're not going to get a different featured player that can, you know, make sure that you don't waste all your GP, um, which we'll be covering and taking a look at some of the some of the players coming quite soon on eFootball DB, where we'll be going into a couple of their stats and stuff and seeing who's worth it. But other than that, lads, that is it for me for another video. Left wingers are done. We'll be on to right wingers, left, SS, and then center forwards to complete this series. And then we'll be back with some more videos. So hope you're enjoying it. Let me know the hidden gems that you guys have unearthed in your series so far of, of, of your journey of Dream Team. I'll be back soon. Peace.